It's been a while since Mickey was last depicted as a hero, much less the star of his very own video game. But after an extended break from the limelight, the beloved cartoon icon is finally springing back into action with Epic Mickey. Helmed by video game veteran Warren Spector, the game aims to live up to its ambitious moniker, but can the man behind J.C. Denton work the same magic for Disney? There's trouble brewing in the House of Mouse, the source tracing itself back to none other than Mickey himself. An act of mischief brings about the creation of the Wasteland, a twisted reflection of the Magic Kingdom inhabited by forgotten characters, rides, and attractions from years gone by. Finding himself within the world's twisted borders, Mickey embarks on a perilous journey to make it back home, but not before being given the chance to make amends for his past misdeeds. In true Disney fashion, Epic Mickey spins a rich and memorable tale sparked by merry characters and a fantastic imaginative world. The story is light and charming in all the right places, though it doesn't lack poignancy by any means. Characters in the Wasteland reflect their shuttered legacies, and the relationship you develop with one of Walt Disney's first creations will definitely tug on a few heartstrings. Bolstered by multiple story paths and endings, Epic Mickey presents a multifaceted tale begging to be played more than once. You'll want to revisit the Wasteland many times over just to see what would happen if you color outside the lines on the next playthrough. Epic Mickey's wistful glance at the past extends well beyond the realm of animation. Recalling the old-school action games of yore, the game's precise blend of puzzles and platforming would find itself at home on systems like the Nintendo 64. Comparisons to Mario and Banjo are inevitable, but it's clear that the game is all about Mickey. Here the power of the paintbrush fuels your various interactions with the world. Objects can be painted in, while obstacles can be thinned out, including the Wasteland's assortment of ink-borne baddies called Blotlings. While the brush doubles as a powerful weapon, combat serves a basic, almost secondary role to the ebb and flow of the game. A greater portion of it is spent on finding creative ways to build up or break down parts of the environment, offering numerous ways to impact the world and the inhabitants that call it home. Mickey's temporary base of operations is established at Mean Street, a riff on Disneyland's Main Street that acts as a hub to all the major wasteland destinations. By helping out the locals and embarking on a few simple quests, Mickey earns power sparks that open up the portals leading to the next phases of his journey. Though the actual progression never quite deviates from its set linear path, there exist a number of interesting detours for players to explore, whether they mean to or not. The game's substantial quest log is riddled with variables, often rooted in some kind of moral choice. Some decisions are easily telegraphed, others sneak cunningly by right under your nose. With great respect to persistence, the story paths, boss fights, and even the very ending itself could change based on what you've done throughout the course of the game. Consequence and choice aren't factors you see often in games like this. Epic Mickey embraces them as its main features. Though it succeeds at gilding its storytelling with the trimmings of an RPG, Epic Mickey comes up short as an action game. Like the combat, the platforming is underwhelming and undercooked. It doesn't take long for the side-scrolling segues between each level to overstay their welcome. Boss fights offer a welcome reprieve from the humdrum, but the action never quite heats up otherwise. In spite of this, Epic Mickey prevails as an engrossing adventure full of twisted turns and unexpected weight. A brisk tour through the wasteland will net you about 15 hours on the low end, but it's clear that the game leaves plenty of room for multiple trips. Counting side quests, alternate endings, and the game's bounty of hidden collectibles, there's plenty of reason to dive back into the abyss. Ambling about the wasteland with just a double jump, spin attack, and his brush, Mickey touts a lean set of moves with a little room for elaboration. The Wii Remote and Nunchuck offer a sensible setup, using gestures to both aim the paintbrush and send Mickey a whirl with a quick flick of the wrist. Movement is nimble with a good deal of responsiveness, but the unreliable camera will prove your greatest nemesis, often doing its damnedest to thwart any reasonable viewing angles. 
At the crux of Mickey's tool set is his trusty paintbrush, a magical implement capable of blasting paint and thinner to affect the world in a variety of ways. When using the brush on enemies, you can employ paint to charm blotlings and recruit them to your cause, or spray them with thinner to eliminate them outright. Outside of combat, you use the brush to fill in or erase parts of the environment to aid in traversal and exploration, or work through puzzles. In all, the system is simple in design, yet deceptive in charm. Later upgrades give Mickey the power to conjure TV sets that bait enemies, anvils that smash them, and the ability to slow down time for a few crucial seconds. These abilities also have a few novel applications in action puzzles and exploration, but for the most part, they feel a bit extraneous in the context of the laid-back combat. Ultimately, the combat isn't what you'll remember most about Epic Mickey. Compared to the rest of the experience, it's a bit half-wrought, never quite feeling like it makes good enough use of the game's novel mechanics. Cast in a stark palette of somber tones and fractured Disney iconography, the Wasteland is truly a sight to behold on the Wii. Almost like the characters themselves, the environments play on a sense of familiarity that makes their twisted reconfigurations seem all the more strange by comparison. Hardware limitations obviously don't hold back the ambitious vision conceived by this top-notch production, realized in full by gorgeous art direction and polished tech. Topped by delightfully executed cutscenes rendered in the style of famed concept artist Mary Blair, Epic Mickey delivers a sincere and resoundingly cohesive visual tribute to the man behind the mouse. Though it may not paint precisely by the numbers laid out by more substantial action games, Epic Mickey succeeds in crafting a deep, story-rich adventure in which choices ultimately matter. It's a shame that the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay doesn't quite measure up to the rest of the package. Nevertheless, Epic Mickey is grand in scope, replayability, and charm, serving as a hearty homecoming indeed for everyone's favorite mouse.